Okay, uh, welcome back everybody. Uh, we're going on to uh, continue our tutorial here. Um, <clears throat> uh, so let's look at the, the website. I was l reading over that. So we created our move task and now they say add a random destroy task. Uh, keep things organized, create another layer, name it second task, and then set it as active. Okay, we, we can do all that. Um, we create another area, make it more interesting. We will randomize the kind of vehicle we want to destroy. can be achieved in various ways, but the safest point is to put a layer task under the area three hierarchy. After selecting the destroy component, set its spawn children attribute to random one, change uh, the activation type to on trigger activation and then add two layers underneath it okay i understand where they're going with this all right th there there's a change uh since this procedure has been written and i think we will uh go over that procedure because i don't think it, it's it's more economical uh to do it this way than what they cover in here uh, we can discuss this later. Um, you know, we will get into putting two layers and selecting one of those layers randomly uh, when we go on to the next part of these videos, which is going to be the full scenario framework. But for this one here, I'm going to show you uh, a much more efficient way uh, to do it. Um, and then, of course, game over. That's probably going to be another video here. It's going to take us 15 minutes to get this set up. Okay, so what they're saying is, Create a new world layer, all right? So create a layer, and we're going to call this D, as it just so happens, destroy task. And we're going to rename this. We can rename this. We'll do it the way they want here. So we're going to call this move task. That way we keep it organized. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop in a... So we're going to do a destroy task down here at this military base. Um, and we're going to drop it in area once again. Oh, see how it screwed up. You got to highlight that. Make sure you make it active, as they call it. And then we're going to grab a layer task destroy. Put it in there. And we're going to put a slot destroy in here. OK, and that's all we're going to need. And let's see, t -t -t task. Well, I really like my, so we're gonna leave this like it is. We're gonna use, so this is uh, string text, I guess you call it. Um, these are references. I don't know where these reside. I need to find that out because I'd like to be able to set up my own uh, string text files. And then we're gonna check place marker on the subject slot. Um, yeah, we can leave it undone because it's going to go to here anyway. This is where we're going to put the vehicle. Uh, this is if you have multiple slots down here, then you want to have the marker on that object. That's what you put that there. Okay. So that's that. Uh, let's see. Um, now, what they want you to do is put two layers uh, up underneath here. They want you to put two layers and then put two slots and call those layers. We don't need to do that. Okay. We can get randomization this way. So we go to the asset and we pick a truck. So prefabs. Uh, vehicles wheeled. And let's go to UAZ, pick the base UAZ. And then what you want to do is type in the faction key USSR. So we're going to put a UAZ right there, just spawned in. Or didn't spawn in, but showed up. And then we put the faction key, because that's the faction it belongs to. And then we go down to this thing uh, in the category called randomization. And you check randomize per faction. And you select vehicle, because that's what you want to randomize. And then you go down here and you type in vehicle. 
and you can see that here's all your choices. So we want a random car. And we want a random truck. And there's only one kind of uh, APC. So, um, you know, you're only going to get the one BTR, but if there's more, uh, you'll get random APCs at this point. And that's what we're going to do there. So we're going to leave that like that. And how do they say they want this done? So it's saying, uh, random, add two layers, got it. Now let's define what we want to destroy. We did that. Now head back to the first task layer where we added the move. Select task layer move and put on task finish and add the action. Okay, so they want us to activate this task after we finish the move task. So that's what that's telling us. So very simple, we've got this task here, we go to our move task, and you go to the slot, you could do it under here, on task finish, but I usually work it out of the slot, because there's more options, you've got finish, create, fail, progress, so a little bit different. And now we're going to get into actions, um, so what we want to do is you have two choices here. You can do action spawn objects, and it will, as soon as you finish this task, it will spawn the other task. Or you can create a little randomization in your uh, spawning, and you can use wait and execute. So if you just put a little five, 10 second delay, Then select Spawn Objects. And you want to say the name of this right here. So Layer Task 1 on Trigger Activation. Now we haven't set that yet, so we got to go back. Um, but this is how you're going to set this up. Hit that, save it, and go back to your layer task. And you must set your activation to same as parent, or correction, on trigger activation. Change it from save as, same as parent to on trigger activation. Okay, now this task will appear when we do the move task. So let's test this out. So there's our move task. There's no uh, destroy task. And to speed things along, we're going to go over here because we know it's over here. Okay, see, there was no notifications. That one finally popped, but the move one, the original one, did not, and that's part of the problem. So we're going to run that back, and we're going to try something, see if we can get some notifications to happen. It would be really nice. Um, Okay, so nope, even when you select it there, abandon. 
See, now it shows. That should show up at the very beginning. So, okay, so now we have no notifications. So we select and it's assigned now. Okay, very good. Okay, so now we go. And if we go over here, see there's no vehicle because it hasn't spawned in yet. See, now we get notifications because we activated them. Okay, five to ten seconds. Destroy vehicle. And there's our task. We're going to accept it. And see, it tells us down here, and I'll show you the line where that's happening. It tells you what vehicle spawned in. This is a 4320 transport truck now. So... If we go over here, you can see it's the truck. A little more efficient than, you know, using multiple layers. To see, you want to do three or four different vehicles, you know, it, just a lot more efficient. Okay, so we're going to destroy this truck with Game Master. Exit out. Objective complete. And there you go. That is your destroy task in a uh, nutshell. So we're going to keep that. We're going to end it right here. And then we're going to finish up on the last part of our tutorial, uh, which was... What was it? Do -do 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 -do. Add a game over. Okay, so to conclude, we can add a game over uh, by adding an end mission action on the, the task finish, uh, tick override game. Okay, there's a little different, so that this is an easy way to do it. Okay, so we'll, uh, let's see, what do we got? Ah, oh, we, got, we got two minutes yet, so we can probably do that now. So it says, um, conclude end mission action on task finish layer destroyed. Okay, so... Bug out. See if we can do this quick. Okay, so on the destroy task, I'm going to slot destroy. On task finish, it says add an end mission. And that's it. Let's save it. Let's run it. According to them, that, that's all we need. Now, there's a couple other options to do this, and we'll get into that when we get into the details of things. But this is how they want you to end it. So we go to our map, deselect, accept. Now we get the pop-up so we can see what's going on. And we'll move over here. Okay, destroy mission or destroy vehicle. So now we're going to pop in over here. And this time it's selected the UAZ with the PKM on top. And once again, we're going to destroy this. And there you go. There's your mission ended. So let's see if it restarts. I don't think it will. Let's watch the countdown. Kind of like that. I'm sure you can change this graphic if you wanted to. That's for another subject. Let's see what happens here. It 
Oh, it did. Very good. Very nice. Okay. And we go back to the beginning. So it just restarted the mission for us. Sweet. That's it for this video. So we've com basically completed the tutorial. We're going to run a little over here. but So we basically completed the tutorial. Um, you know, we, we did everything that was in that wiki. We did do some changes to this slot destroy and showed you a more efficient way to do that. Um, so, But we'll cover all these things in depth in the next series of videos. We're going to end this tutorial here and uh, stick a fork in it because I think we're done. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.